Welcome back. This is the MJ Show, and I have an absolutely brilliant singer for you today. Now he's had some fabulous songs in Bollywood. I was just, I was just telling him a little while ago that I was uh, sitting down and listening to a lot of his songs. I mean, I've heard a few of his songs on and off, like on radio or whatever. But yesterday I sat down and I heard a lot of his songs, and I have to say I'm a huge fan myself, and I'm really, really glad to get him on the show for all of you. I'm going to give you a chance to get to know a little bit more about him, his life, his songs, his music. and we'll we'll have a lot of fun today so help me welcome on the mj show the brilliant mohammed irfan hi irfan great to have you on the show thank you so yeah. uh, like firstly here. like i said in my introduction i really love your songs i think you've got some you've been really fortunate you've had some great yes. great songs bahut so acche gaane i mean like i know your fans love it too but i wanted you to know that i am also now a fan of your music that's so nice of you thank really, you very really much cool. so let's you know before we get into the songs and before we get into the the music that you are making right now let's start as i do with everyone at the beginning so shuruaat kahan se hui where are you from are you have you always been from mumbai have you come from somewhere uh, no i come from hyderabad okay and uh, music uh, is not into my family like okay. uh, that that way things become easy but for me it was very tough acha because uh, in my school days uh, the music teacher in my school uh-huh. uh, mr ramachari he was the one who identified the singing talent uh-huh. in me and then uh, from there on my uh, uh, music uh, learning of music started as a professionally training shuru ki thi tabhi jab when you were a kid it was not a professional training as such it was just like school level pe jaise bachchon ko sikha de to participate in the assemblies and correct, small functions correct, of the school or uh, or that it, it becomes it's also like a subject also so you have to it is yeah, it is a subject you have a you have a period for that correct, and music correct. teacher comes and teaches you so i in that music period i was selected by the music teacher mr ramachari who is even now my guru oh wow who is the who is the biggest reason for me being a singer oh wow because okay. he identified the singing talent in me he called up my parents my parents came to school and they were very annoyed huh. because i was not called for any complaint huh. but i was not called uh, for appreciation <laughs> in studies studies as well i was called to say that i was singing acha so first my parents were upset they huh. were like we have sent him to such a big school and it is very reputed school in hyderabad huh. they said uh, कौन सा स्कूल में इट वॉज ऑल सेंट्स हाई स्कूल ऑल सेंट्स हाई स्कूल इन हैदराबाद वेरी रेप्यूटेड स्कूल सो दे वर अपसेट दैट हमने इसको यहाँ भेजा है पढ़ाई के लिए भेजा है क्या चल रहा है गाना वाना क्यों गा रहा है सो बट माई म्यूजिक टीचर मिस्टर रामाचार्य ही इंसिस्टेड ही सेट नो यू मस्ट टेक इट सीरियसली बिकॉज दिस गाय हैज सम टैलेंट एंड इफ इफ इज गिवन प्रॉपर प्रोफेशनल ट्रेनिंग देन ही कैन डू गुड लवली and uh, thankfully my parents understood that and they encouraged me are awesome awesome it's so nice to hear when i hear singer say ki you know our parents were not from the music industry but they accepted and understood yeah. that yes i have something special and they let you follow your dreams so big shout out for his mom and dad good job and also and also because did. i come from a very conservative middle class muslim family Correct. so many people uh, in uh, in our uh, culture they think that music is wrong Haan. or it's haram or something like that but yeah. my parents thankfully never thought of that yeah, it's really cool and cool. i personally feel now after so spending so many years into music i yeah. feel that this thing cannot be haram yeah because this gives so much of peace Enjoy and this so gives people. me a a unique connection with god correct so i think this is the most purest and the most amazing thing which anything can have anybody oh, yeah. can have in their lives oh absolutely so yeah. i'm very thankful to my parents to have encouraged and me. i think every singer can definitely agree with you and say that when you are singing when you are performing and when you are say i'm getting goosebumps right now thinking about what you're talking about you know when you are performing in front of people when you are singing whether it is in a studio by yourself and there's just like one person sitting there and watching you or you are in front of an audience of 10 15000 people you automatically feel a connect with with something or even bigger. if you're just at your home alone and doing riyaz just singing ha riyaz kar rahe ho to ek malum padta hai ki you know there is a connect with something bigger than a, what you are yes exactly yeah. exactly and even if you're not singing if you're listening to some good music and yeah if you listen to one good thing yeah and then you just say oh god kya banaya kya banaya bilkul so that is the that is the biggest thing and i i right. feel very very happy i feel very blessed to be into music very cool man very cool i think uh, it's such a great answer to get when i ask somebody that you know how did it begin so this is a great way to start off but okay to school mein shuruaat hui yes uske baad kya i mean uh, did you know that okay this is going to become a profession yeah how did that transition happen uh, honestly i never thought uh, during my childhood or even in my college days that i would be uh, taking music seriously as a profession right because i used to sing a lot of telugu uh, songs in hyderabad and whatever my music teacher ramachari sir taught me i used to sing that right but uh, It was during my engineering days that I realized that. You did engineering? That, yes, I am an engineer. 
two electro i am an electronics engineer and you are electronics engineer that's unbelievable two electronics Seriously? Enge- i am an electronics engineer electronics and in- communications i did electronics in 2003 so i mean i passed out I in 2003 i passed out in 2005 2005 or 2006 unbelievable two engineers in the music industry having a great so time i didn't know this <laughs> now you do yes <laughs> so when i'm engineering it but go ahead sorry i didn't yeah, mean no, to no problem you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> always go was, to meet engineers yes exactly yeah. i feel the same when i performing <laughs> engineering colleges exactly i asked i asked in the audience who all belong to the electronic stream i said this song is for you this is for you. oh yes that's all i do we do these things you know we do. Yes. so okay right now this moment is for all you electronics engineers and electronics and communications engineers out there chalo it and computer walon ke liye bhi yes there you go for all the engineers out there brother brother sister branches all all those branches yes, yes. okay go ahead so uh, <laughs> it was during my engineering days that uh, i started realizing that i'm not for this I, i don't want to be here because my parents always wanted me to become an engineer or a doctor correct and i mean as every other parent does yeah. so i did my engineering i finished i completed it but after that i told my parents i told my dad that now i don't want to take up a job or go for mba okay. but he, they wanted me to go abroad and study right then i said i want some time i said then my dad he didn't agree but my mom supported me and she said okay you go take your time so right. three years whatever you want correct if 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 some results come out then it's okay otherwise you need to come back come back and get into and studies and get into studies and right. take a job job right but thankfully in those 2 3 years i got into tv shows i i did you did reality shows right? i did reality so shows pehla show kaun sa tha the first reality show i did was in 2005 it was uh, saregama pa okay in Ch- challenge 2005 that was a big one nice. but i couldn't come up to a good level in that so right. i got eliminated i went back to hyderabad okay then there was this uh, there was another i start I, I, i had to continue my engineering final year correct so i went for that and i gave my exams and then i got back got back to mumbai i said no i won't i i'm not going to give up just so easily right then there was another tv show happening called voice of india on star mm. plus mm. so i took part in that and yeah. that show helped me quite a bit correct i came up to some top 4 uh, position in that show okay so before so we move helped. ahead can you tell me one of the songs that you did in one of these reality shows which was really appreciated by fans and by yes. judges and everything kaun sa gana they were quite, there were two three songs but one song which even now people whenever i go to perform they ask me uh-huh. to sing that was one song uh, from the film metro alvida to can i, I hear a little bit of that yeah sure why not yeah चुपके से कही धीमे पाव से जाने किस तरह किस घड़ी आगे बढ़ गए हमसे राह में पर तुम तो अभी थे यही कुछ भी ना सुना कब का था गिला कैसे कह दिया अलविदा 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 मेरी सांसें अलविदा मेरी सांसें कहती हैं अलविदा lovely so Thank you. this was one of those songs in in the reality yeah. show which really really worked out for yes. you yes so uh, this was one of the most popular songs that you did uh, yeah. you know during the the reality shows yes. period so w- you said voice of india tha uske baad you did one more right if i remember uh, right. yeah I, after voice of india i also did another tv show that was uh, jojita voice superstar huh. i even won that show yeah but that was after my playback songs had uh, started no, coming, out. coming out started okay. coming out okay so what was the first playback song for you and how what's the story behind that how were you discovered for bollywood uh after tv shows i mean my always uh, always my wish uh, my dream was to sing in movies and to sing right. to become a playback singer correct so i i made my cd and i started roaming around and you know uh, giving the cds to music composers and all right uh, the struggle jisko kehte hain i don't, don't like that word yeah. because it's all a part of journey yeah so uh, but i always had this thing in mind that i had to meet a, a few composers jo mere wish list mein the hamesha se unme se i had ar rahman sir i had uh, ismail darbar i had vishal bhardwaj and mithun wow so i i managed to meet uh, mithun i gave him my cd and he heard uh, my song and he called me up that was after 2 3 months after he heard my cd so i thought pata nahi aayega ke nahi aayega i know hmm. but then one fine day he called me up and he said uh, he wanted to try my voice for one song okay that was for his movie lamha okay uh, he tried my voice in the song salam zindagi and then he gave another song in the movie rehmat zara okay so Uh, that was the first time i was singing for any bollywood project a oh, very good so two songs in lamha okay. but my first release was uh, for rahman sir for yaar rahman sir in the movie ravan 
Lamha. That song released before Lamha. Before Lamha. So my debut is Ravan, which I sang for Yar Rehman sir. So you know what? Generally, when I ask a question in the rapid fire round, I always ask. I ask. Many singers have asked me that who is the one music director you would like to work with. So yeah. they are their first name on the wish list nine times out of ten is Yar Rehman. तो तुम्हारी शुरुआत ही यार रहमान जी हो गई है फर्स्ट सॉन्ग सॉन्ग वाज फॉर हिम फर्स्ट सॉन्ग वाज फॉर रहमान सर ब्रिलियंट ब्रिलियंट सो कैन आई बिफोर वी मूव अहेड विद द स्टोरी कैन आई हियर अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ योर फर्स्ट सॉन्ग यस श्योरली एंड इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल नंबर आई एम वेरी प्राउड टू हैव सॉन्ग फॉर रहमान सर एंड दिस सॉन्ग इट इज मेरे आंख से बूंद गिरा कोई चिंगारी का टुकड़ा जला कोई उम्मीद को आग लगा जरा सहरा की प्यास बुझा जरा उम्मीद को आग लगा जरा सहरा की प्यास बुझा जरा घन इतना बरस के बलने लगूं मैं पानी के ऊपर तरने लगूं बहने दे मुझे बहने दे मुझे बहने दे मुझे बहने दे हो बहने दे मुझे बहने दे मुझे बहने दे मुझे बहने दे बहने दे घन घोर घटा बहने दे पानी की तरह सागर में जा गिरना है बहने दे नदिया की तरह लवली एंड व्हाट अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टार्ट ऑफ योर म्यूजिकल जर्नी राइट इन बॉलीवुड टू हैव योर फर्स्ट रिलीज एज अ एज एन ए आर रहमान सॉन्ग आई मीन डिड यू गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू वर्क विद हिम अगेन आफ्टर दैट और या आफ्टर दैट आई गॉट अ कॉल फ्रॉम हिज स्टूडियो बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई वॉज बिजी शूटिंग फॉर द रियलिटी शो विच आई टोल्ड अबाउट ओके सो आई कूड मेक इट देर एम थिंग्स डेंट हैपन आफ्टर दैट बट गॉड बिलिंग यू विल सिंग विद हिम अगेन वेरी वेरी सो 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 लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वॉट हैपन आफ्टर दिस सॉन्ग रिलीज यू सेट अफकोर्स इसके पहले ही रिकॉर्डिंग तो हो चुकी थी लम्हा के लिए लम्हा वॉज लाइक फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम रिकॉर्डेड दीज सॉन्ग्स रिलीज लाइक जस्ट इन द गैप ऑफ वन मंथ अच्छा didn't work that well correct the film because the films didn't work right so then again i had to wait 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 and wait for the next big song and then finally it happened in the movie murder 2 wow and thanks to mithun sir who gave me this such a beautiful song yeah i think it's a beautiful beautiful song yes. and uh, i mean i think a lot of your fans must love that too what i'd like is before i get you to sing that is you got like you said you worked with mithun again for murder 2 yeah. tell me something interesting about the making of this song i mean uh, this is the same song Uh, uh which is also been sung by adik yes yes we we share the vocals you share that. the vocals yes, on this yes so myself tell me th- your experience on this song because it's such a landmark song for you and it's such yeah. a big song i'm sure even right now when you go and perform live this must yeah. be one of the most requested one of the songs mo- yes 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 one of the most loved songs i mean even now like when i sing or perform my other songs as well but the the reaction which i get for phir mohabbat is amazing is amazing yes so it tell is. me about the experience of making this uh it was it was really nice because by that time after singing for mithun in lamha so there was a rapo which i had developed and uh, i knew the style of working hmm. and uh, even mithun sir knew my vocals quite well by that time correct so he called me for this song and uh, the way of the way he works is like he never tells you the 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 film project it belongs to hmm. or the the actor or the director he doesn't tell anything about the song about the movie about the movie uh, he just give, gives the lyrics and the melody and he uh, wants us to perform right the song well so he gave me these these lines it was not not even the complete song because i have not sung the complete song correct i have the i have i have the mukhda and the cross and right. everything so he gave me my lines and he said you got to sing these lines and he, he taught me the melody yeah. and uh, i was sta- and when when i started singing the, i just, i had just sung two lines and he said that's it that's it i i i got what i wanted lovely so that that is the thing i remember <laughs> and so is it like aajkal ke zamane mein agar do singers ek gaane pe ho very likely do singers ek dusre ko milte bhi nahi hai ek aake exactly yeah, I had, I, so you didn't really interact with arijit at that no, point of time no at that time no not at did all. you know that he's going to be on the song no i didn't know that. i didn't even know that uh, <laughs> there is this part ha huh. after what i sing after what you like sing after i finish then there is a, there is these lines uh, huh. there is this line called dil samajh ja zara it comes correct i didn't even know that i didn't know what what are the exact tune of the antra wow Which, Now, you know i always find it fascinating this is how i mean these are the kind of stories that i've heard so often about bollywood songs that one person doesn't know what the other person is doing but it all comes together ultimately and it creates this great magical musical piece which all of you fall in love with and it gets thousands and millions of views on on youtube and you get it as your caller tune and ringtone and all of those things but it's amazing how you know the work that goes behind a song yes is 
absolutely how fascinating formed. how it, how it comes together yes. and you know it's like they say you can't see the parts but the sum of all the parts eventually yes. is something really really cool like as an individual right. part of it you don't know how it will finally look except for maybe the music director who's kind yeah. of visualized it ki mujhe acha idhar pe iski awaaz ye idhar pe iski awaaz ye ye musicians yahan pe bajayenge mujhko yahan pe ye karna hai yeah. it's so brilliant i think the whole the whole process of making a song for bollywood is just amazing and yes, it's it so is. great that you get to be a part of such a fabulous uh, Actually, industry yes. and you know this music making process yes. so with that said and with this unsolicited monologue of mine can i get you to sing a little bit of your song now yeah definitely jab jab tere paas maya ek sukoon mila jise main tha bhulta aaya wo wajood mila jab aaye mausam gham ke तुझे याद किया हो जब से मैं तनहापन से तुझे याद किया ना अरिजीत लाइन्स दिल संभल जा जरा फिर मोहब्बत करने चला है तू ओ वाह हाउ कूल वाज दैट डू यू गो एंड अनप्लग्ड a uh, performance of one of my favorite songs actually in a in the last maybe 5 5 i think this is what 2010 10 yeah so there you go 5 man wow mujhe timing by mistake be correct i have that's a cool thing so yes in the last 5 years definitely one of my favorite songs and i know you guys love it too so this was from him for all of you watching right now so theek hai phir mohabbat hua and this was definitely that landmark song in your life where you knew this was the first big hit, big hit like which every singer uh, wants, wants you know? जीत after phir mohabbat and pritam da used to sing a lot of backing vocals and chorus parts for pritam da right he started trying my voice as a solo after phir right. mohabbat right so things definitely started uh, changing right and uh, then again uh, uh, last year 2014 was amazing because the way the year started in january with yaria ha that was again like that was amazing that was amazing and uh, it was like the revival of the success of phir mohabbat and even when beyond folds, that i guess yeah, better, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the song was called barish, barish and yes. i think that's another song which i know fans really really love i think yeah. it it works i think these songs and and this space works really well with your female fans i know yeah. that you got a lot of female fans because of these songs and think it's not just the female fans honestly come on guys love it too they you know all the guys who pretend that oh, it's not my kind of song secretly i know you guys are all listening to it too <laughs> so with that said let's get I'm going to ask you a little bit about the song but since you put it in my head now can I hear a little bit of barish yeah well? definitely yeah dil mera hai na samajh kitna be sabr ye bewakuf bada chahta hai kitna tujhe khud magar nahi जान सका इस दर दे दिल की सिफारिश अब कर दे को यहाँ के मिल जाए इसे वो बारिश जो भिगा दे पूरी तरह ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल स्टफ एंड विथ बारिश अगेन आई मीन यू गॉट दैट मैसिव सॉन्ग विच विथ सिंगर्स वॉन्ट यू नो एंड विच हेल्प I know you're a live performer as well. I know yes. you love to uh, perform live. So, are these the sort of the staple parts of your of of, of the concerts where this is what you build up to? You know, like you know that this is the one song, or these are the two or three songs that people want to hear in every show. Definitely, like I mean, whenever wherever people call me to perform, the yeah. first thing they want to hear from me is the songs which uh, which I have sung in which the movies. Correct. And uh, these are the few songs which are like in the in the top. Uh, top priority list of any list of every concert of, yeah, like every if concert. it's like like i always say you know ki agar if the eagles perform somewhere and they don't do hotel california people yeah. are going to be like shit exactly. kya yaar 
पैसा क्यों दी क्यों दिया यू नो इट्स लाइक दैट्स इट सो दिस दिस बिकम्स बट देन यू नो इट स्टेज विद यू फॉर योर लाइफ बिकॉज लाइक आई रिमेंबर व्हेन शान हैड कम ऑन द शो ही सेड यू नो अभी भी मैं कोई कांसर्ट करता हूं तन्हा दिल अभी भी लोगों को सुनना है एब्सोल्युटली सो आई थिंक दिस फिर मोहब्बत एंड बारिश आर गोना बी योर योर तन्हा दिल और योर होटल कैलिफोर्नियाज फॉर योर लाइफ <laughs> I, mean, I hope so. I hope I'm sure so. they will I'm be. Sure I'm sure they really will be. Even better songs are going to come this year. Yeah. But these these are the songs which are which are going to remain very close to my heart always in my entire life. So uh, apart from uh, you know these two songs, let's talk about some of the other important songs for you that have uh, happened. You said you worked with uh, Himesh uh, yes. Reshmiya. You did Oh My God with him first. You said right? Yeah. I mean that was after Phir Mohabbat. That I mean, was after Phir. Himesh ji loved the song Phir Mohabbat a lot, and okay. uh, my vocals in the song. So he called me up and uh, he gave me this song in Oh My God. and also some other song which are recorded for me which are still unreleased okay now he used to always tell me the reference his phir mohabbat he said tune jo phir mohabbat mein gaya hai bas waise hi gana usi is tarah se gana nice that was a reference point but after barish released hmm. his reference point changed now when he called me to sing in kick Haan. and uh, expose uh, he said barish jo tune gaya hai waisa hi gana are wah so the reference point changed <laughs> so that is the thing and then the song uh, which he gave me gave me in expose yeah that was another huge hit it's a it's a hit in the masses like right. people in the interiors when i go to perform in like small places or small villages people love this song a lot lovely he has that connect with the masses you know what this is something that i have seen first hand i had the pleasure of uh, hosting a show where he was performing and it was a concert where you know I, i was there was interaction with fans online and whatever else like a web concert that happened and it was unbelievable the yeah. legion of his fans the sheer numbers that he has yes. and you know even if in the cities uh, the urban folk think that his music is not yeah, cool enough for yeah, them correct i don't think it makes a, even this much of a difference in it his life because it doesn't he's matter got thousands and thousands of fans who worship yeah. the ground he walks on you know i mean like absolutely insane yes and i think it's amazing that any music director or a musician can gain that kind of Yes. loyal following no matter what you know jo bhi yes. film release kare wo ya film mein acting abhi kar rahe wo yeah. he still got his fans who will go pay money yes, watch, yes. Him watch him perform watch him watch uh, him in a movie hear his songs hear his songs. that is going to that and those people are going to remain with him they're going to remain with him yes to kaun sa gana kiya unke sath abhi jo recently that was uh, the song that. which i sang uh, for expose yeah. and and uh, that was a very beautiful number and he was very excited about that song uh-huh. and i think the most unique thing about the the song dard dilon ke kam ho jate okay. main aur tum ghar hum ho jate i think the most unique thing about that song uh, would be this is the first time ever that uh, a song Uh, which features Himesh ji as an actor huh. has been sung by some other singer. Oh, okay. I don't oh, think generally he must be singing all yeah, of his songs. Yeah, he sings songs, like in the Aapka Surur and Radio and all correct, these previous correct, movies. Correct, correct. He's been singing his songs. All of his songs, yeah. All, even in Expose, he has sung the other songs, Ice Cream and all those other songs. But Dard Dilong is being such an important song of the movie. Wow. Uh, he has given it to some other singer, and that is. And that also so shows his faith in you, you know. Yeah. Khud ke liye, considering he himself sings. Yes. He thought that you know you are the one. There is also lip sync, so I mean it's not like a background song. Correct. Uh, he he is doing lip sync, and it's my voice, so it's a different thing. It's a unique thing. Yeah. so and i'm thankful uh, to the audiences that the song has been appreciated and it's a big hit now yeah so it's a, it's a fabulous a, song so yeah, you know what can we have a little bit of that yeah definitely yeah dard dilon ke kam ho jate main aur tum ghar hum ho jate main aur tum ghar hum ho jate कितने हसी आलम हो जाते मैं और तुम घर हम हो जाते मैं और तुम घर हम हो जाते लवली मैन एंड इट इज़ अ ब्यूटीफुल सॉन्ग एंड इट्स रियली कूल दैट हिमेश जी गिव अ सॉन्ग विच इज pictureized on him the cheese lip syncing yeah, to you i think it's a, it it shows his faith in you and yeah, you know yeah. the fact that he thinks that and like you said you know his reference points changing also shows yeah. how much he loves your voice that you know ek gaane pe to unko acha laga hi then he's found another song on which and there he, is another thing with himesh ji actually as i told you i had participated in reality show that correct. was the first step for my entry into mumbai correct because i didn't have any contacts in mumbai so i had i was giving auditions for sare gama pa in 2005 huh. which is 10 years back from right, now right and i had given an audition from mumbai i lost I gave audition from some from some other city as well, and I didn't uh, qualify. Okay. Then I didn't give up. I went to Pune. Okay. For audition, and there Himesh ji was the judge. Okay. And he selected me, and he got me to Mumbai. Bhai wa, super. So that so was my first entry into and, and Mumbai. And such a happened. brilliant full circle. It's kind like of a full thing, circle, right? and now Very I'm cool. singing for him, and uh, 
doing playback for him very cool in with in his music and he being the actor producer yeah yeah singing for <laughs> him even in this upcoming movie i don't think i'm allowed to talk about that but it's a big big film coming up this year very in cool. which image his music uh, i have sung two songs in that movie so i'm really waiting for that uh, you know what i i make a promise towards the end of the show to all my guests but i'm doing it right away to tell him that whenever this film comes out let's get you back on the show and we'll talk about the experience Definitely. of working on that but theek hai to ye hua iske baad kya hua you said 2014 was an awesome year for it you. was a, it was so, it was very good haan, uh, batao, uh, dard dilon ke uh, released and i uh, was getting amazing response uh, hmm. for dard dilon ke then uh, jeet da called me for this song in city lights uh, hmm. muskurane ki wajah yes. and uh, of course the main version which is uh, a huge hit sung by arijit singh yeah, yeah. and uh, i was given the unplugged version of that song yeah. and uh, it's a beautiful number the main version and plug both are very both very, of them are beautiful very beautiful exactly. and uh, i was very happy i was very happy to sing to be singing for jeeda yeah. and uh, when i went to watch the movie city lights i was i was even more happier because yeah. my version of the song is used at three different places in the movie are wah and at very important places in the movie like the emotional junctures ha yeah. wahan par uh, ek antra aata hai meri voice mein then mukhda aata hai so it has been very well used in nice. the movie nice so that was another a uh, very big song for me right even though it was an unplugged version but still when i go to perform in my shows people ask me to I'm sing i'm sure they do because it's uh, yeah. like i said you know yesterday i did this massive listening session of his songs and for me i think phir mohabbat and this are for me barish i'm i'm partial to it and i'll say it's number 3 for me but this is definitely my i can't make up which my which is my favorite song phir mohabbat ya muskurane so yes. i would love it if you could sing a little bit of muskurane definitely well. yeah मुस्कुराने की वजह तुम हो गुनगुनाने की वजह तुम हो जी आ जाए ना जाए ना जाए ना हो रे पियारे जी आ जाए ना जाए ना जाए ना ore pyare fabulous man I, i had goosebumps right now and you can't fake this is what i'm talking about this is what he was talking about at the yeah. at the start of this episode where you know there's just something about music that just connects yes. and the power of some... music and this i mean no individual can uh, claim the right on on this because Correct. this is like this is just god given ha you are jaise bolte hain aap ek zariya ho ye cheez upar se aati hai aap ek zariya ho aapko logon ko pahunchana hai that's it so thank you should thank yourself for being the beautiful medium medium through which uh, yeah so which you are passing on the good things coming from god to people beautiful yeah, man just beautiful. a medium so you don't do keep your job you do i I, job. i i love this uh, this description of singers i think it's it's so cool that uh, a singer should be able to tell you that and that's that's truly how i feel about so many incredible singers i'm sure you feel the same way when you hear your favorite singers and they make you feel something it could be joy sorrow you know whatever whatever yeah. feeling you genuinely feel that that's when you know that a song is working correct exactly, you know? exactly. very cool so ye hua yes after city lights then uh, uh, according to me the the most beautiful song of my career that came to me and that was in the movie equilan mm. uh, banjara which is uh, i mean i i can't pick one song of mine to be one of the favorites but <laughs> if i can say the most special song to me it has to be banjara because it is so amazingly composed and written right by mithun sir so it is uh, i mean i'm very fortunate i always tell mithun sir uh, when he, when we go to perform in his shows in his ha. concerts i go with him ha. so when i'm performing banjara when i'm doing the rehearsal the sound check okay. i always just go up to him and tell him that mithun sir thank you so much for giving me this song <laughs> it's so amazing this is such a beautiful one and uh, tell me a little bit about the making of the song i mean i understand it's one of your favorite songs yeah. what makes it your favorite song uh it was tough it was tough. it was not easy because uh, mithun sir and mohit suri they are very good friends mm. and uh, uh, mohit has a vision about his songs and he's very clear about it and uh, th- that is the seed for him that is the seed for mithun sir for the song mm. his situation his the, his characters and the way the in in the situation the characters are in in the movie correct from there the song is born and then then that mithun sir explains to me that this is the character and he's going through this and he's like usko wo bahut uh, low phase mein chal raha hai and then this girl comes girl comes into his life and now he feels like jeene ki kuch aas baki hai to waisa ek feeling chahiye so it's it's about emotion it's about how you express so, so in a way you can also say that when you are singing for bollywood i think it's so important for a singer also to be an actor in a manner yes. of speaking because you need to be an actor from your voice from, exactly you, have you to know be. while an actor portrays a lot 
on on a screen yeah. through every part of his body yes yes uh, the singer has to be able to do the same the thing same thing from his voice but from his voice yes so i think it's so cool that uh, you got another beautiful song a song that you yeah. are very fond of and i know that this is another song that your fans love very much so yeah. i'm going to ask you to sing a bit of surely, that surely surely ha kisi shaer ki ghazal jo de ruh ko sukoon ke pal koi mujhko yu mila hai jaise banjare ko ghar नए मौसम की सहर या सर्द में दोपहर कोई मुझको यू मिला है जैसे बंजारे को घर जैसे बंजारे को घर जैसे बंजारे को घर जैसे बंजारे को घर fantastic and that also makes me remember the fact that i have the worst memory in the universe i've said this so many times i completely you know i mean i knew this song and then it completely slipped my mind and when he sang it i realized this is also one of my favorite songs this is this is why at the start of the show i told him man i heard your music yesterday and i fell yeah. in love with it this is really i mean i i this agree is, with you i can completely understand yes. you going up and telling mithun that you know wow i'm so grateful that you gave yes. me this song this is such a beautiful song it is lyrically it is. musically yes. i think in every possible way even even the way it is picturized the, in the movie the way it's picturized it is beautiful beautiful beautiful, beautiful stuff brilliant so this happened this was when in 2000 this was last year last yeah, year, last year uh, august september hmm. i think hmm. equivalent correct so ye hua aur uske baad na i know you've got a few more projects in the pipeline yes. right now. you also some more releases have happened after i've got this, some 3 right? to 4 songs which have already released Just this released. year it was for uh, some some very good movies like lakhnavi ishq there was a movie huh. the song was very good it was not it didn't I, i i think it didn't work well because of the promotions or whatever right but the song was very good called tu aina hai mera from the movie lakhnavi ishq and there was a song in barkha and that song was my first one with uh, shreya ghoshal it was oh, a wow. duet with shreya ghoshal wow uh, lafze bayan Mm-hmm. in barkha and there's uh, another one coming in the movie yuva mm-hmm. very soon and uh, there's uh, the song which has sung for mithun it is coming in the movie shab okay that's uh, oner's movie and that's coming very soon so has the, has yeah. these last two that you talked about have have the songs been released already uh no no this the songs have not been released but they are going to come very soon they're going to come very soon yeah. so now what we going to do is uh, i do a rapid fire round with all my guests every week uh, before i go to the rapid fire round i think uh, one of the things that i need to talk about is you've sung a lot of songs beyond bollywood as well like i think yes. in in the bengali film industry you told yes. me you'd also have you sung telugu songs also for films or yes yes uh, i have sung uh, quite a few songs in Beng- bengali and uh, quite a few songs in odia okay and uh, telugu tamil uh, punjabi oh wow okay and uh, one song in bhojpuri which i don't remember <laughs> okay and uh, quite a few other languages as well so uh, this is a question which i'm sure a lot of people must ask you because when you say that you sing in so many languages does it mean and this is something i'm sure fans would love to know does it mean that you know those languages or can you speak basics of those languages or do you just learn the song phonetically like you know you you're given the lyrics and then you figure out what are the tones of each of those words and then reproduce them or do you actually bother to understand the lyrics and um, you know learn the meanings of it and then sing it what is your process for uh, the process is very simple i mean honestly i don't know so many languages exactly. myself I, I nobody know, can yeah, yeah. I, i don't know all these languages yeah. but i make sure that i know the whole concept of the song correct i make sure so you sure can understand yeah. the, what we just spoke about you know yeah. emoting with your emoting. voice because the most important correct. thing for a playback singer is to emote to correct. i mean to understand the expression of the correct characters correct so i do that thing i sit with the lyricist i sit with the director of the movie they come for the recording so i i ask them i ask them to explain to me the situation explain to me what the song is saying correct what, at what po- point the song comes in the movie and why is the song in the movie right and once i understand then i start singing and while i sing i ask them to keep interrupting me if i make mistakes correct in, that is what especially I do. pronunciation in the pronunciation in the diction correct. and uh, correct i keep asking them kisi uh, kisi word pe unko ek zyada feel chahiye hota hai jaise ki dard प्यार तो ऐसे जो उस लैंग्वेज में होता है सो आई आई मेक श्योर दैट आई आज दैम अबाउट द मीनिंग्स ऑफ द वर्ड्स एंड द मॉड्यूलेशन विच इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड and in and seeing the reaction i can judge whether i'm going in the right direction right. or not yeah. so i then move forward i think it's a great uh, bit of advice for you young singers out there 
uh, who like him would want to not just sing for Bollywood but sing because there's a beautiful market and a beautiful industry beyond Bollywood as well. There are so many yes. fabulous fans for the Bengali music industry, for the Tamil industry, for the entire South. India, all the various languages that are there. There's a massive market. There are a lot yes. of fans. I recently who... recorded a Kannada song for Ismail Darbar sir. Oh wow! Ismail okay. Darbar sir is doing a Kannada movie, okay. and I recorded a beautiful song. Okay. So I'm waiting for the release, and, and also I recorded a few months back for a Pakistani movie. Are lovely? Got a call from Pakistan, and they said hey, we are making a Pakistani movie, and we wanted to sing. Okay. So they called me up. They they invited me all the way to Dubai, mm -hmm. where I went to record the song. And uh, next week I'm recording another song for another Pakistani movie. Are fantastic? So the market is. Growing slowly and yeah. thank God. So, it, so it's not just Pakistani singers who are coming and singing here. Yeah, it's Indian good to singers, see Indian going, singers to going to Pakistan and singing yeah, there as well. It's time to pay back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Uh, let's talk about uh, some song of yours from uh, which is not a Hindi song, which is okay. a massive hit for you, which you sing even in your Bollywood. Uh, there is this Bengali song which uh, off late I'm uh, getting a huge demand to perform in uh, Bengal, Calcutta, Odisha as well. Okay. Uh, from the this is the title song of the movie Ami Shudhu Chechi Tomai. Okay. So uh, Ami Shudhu Chechi Tomai. Ami Shudhu Chechi Tomai. Ha, that means I only I, I only want you or I only I like only you. love you. Yeah. I you know only Bengali? love you. I know Bengali f uh, well enough. Yeah. Okay. Ami Bangla Tik Tak Bolte Pari because Achha. I stayed in Calcutta 20 years ago oh. in Salt Lake for four years. Okay. Ami Akono Bangla Bolte Pari. There you go. Something you yeah, didn't so know. So for all the Bengali viewers today. <laughs> this must be but for the Bengali viewers and because I am very fond of Calcutta, uh, okay. Kolkata as it is now. Let's yes. not. You know there was one controversy around one of my songs for using another word for my city. Don't want to get in trouble with the guys from Kolkata. Yeah, I, I heard huh. that at Jima. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, man. Yes. But let's hear, let's hear a little bit of yeah, that song. That song goes like this. Talmata. Munta ki chuto mai bolte chai Beshamal Bhabna gulo to mai chute chai Ami shudhu chechi to mai Ami shudhu chechi to mai Wow, lovely. And there's just something beautiful about the Bengali language. It yeah, just very flows sweet. very nicely. It's very round. Very rounded, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like all the sweetness that is there in... Okay, I'm not going to suck up to the Bengali people too much, sorry. You guys are very nice. I love you and I love the Maharashtra. Ami Tomage Fum Bhalo Bashi. Ami Tomage, Ami Shabai Ke Bhalo Bashi. Not just the Bengalis, I love the South Indians. I love everybody. Man. That's yes, a I good way to be. Very zen, very peaceful, love everyone. Alright, so now let's move into the rapid fire round. Unless there's any other song that you want... Now that we have pleased your Bengali fans, okay. is there... Do you remember the lyrics of any other song in any other language? I remember uh, an uh, Odia song. Okay. It was, which is again a huge hit in Odisha, Bhubaneswar, Katak. I mean, people so love that song. So that. I, I can't speak that language. Sorry, guys. Mm, <laughs> yeah, that I, two lines I remember. Ha, two lines. Chalo. Pakhore thile se sabu bhalo lage, dure thile kahi khoju chu, dukharu tuje be. Tote chui jaye, taako tha tu kahi bhabu chu Re mona, tu bhala pao chu, haa bhala pao chu Lovely man, very very cool. Okay, let's go into our rapid fire round now. Let's put him on the spot, let's get some answers from him. Okay, first uh, question, uh, do you listen to English music at all? I mean, is oh, there... Very, very, very less uh, English very songs. अभी कोई है गाना ऐसा जो बहुत अच्छा लगता है अभी मैंने ब्रूनो मार्स का सुना था ब्रूनो मार्स का When I was your man I'm a huge fan of Bruno Mars too I think that's a beautiful beautiful song yes. What I've done is I've you know we like through the magic of technology we've taken a break which you've not been able to see we got the lyrics here and for the very first time he's going to sing an English song for you guys on camera and we're going to do a jam on this together one of my favorite songs one of his favorite songs yeah. a song called When I was your man by Bruno Mars so check and it out I'm nervous <laughs> mm, same bed, but it feels just a little bit bigger now. I sung on the radio, but it don't sound the same. When our friends talk about you, all it does is just tear me down. Cause my heart breaks a little when I hear mm. your name. It, it all just sounds, sounds like. Ooh, Too young, too dumb to realize that I should have bought you flowers. 
and held your hand Should have given you all my hours when I had the chance Take you to every party cause all you wanted to do was dance Now my baby's dancing but she's dancing with another man Woo! All right, so there you go. First jam uh, on, on on an English song, one of my favorite songs as well. Uh, yeah. Bruno Mars, uh, When I Was Your Man. If you've not heard it, please go out and listen to this song. Absolutely brilliant. Recommended by him and by me. All right, so let's go to the next question. So I got to know a little bit about English uh, music that you like. Apart from the kind of music that you do, as in the Bollywood music, what other forms of Indian music are you very fond of? I like ghazals and okay. uh, during my college days I, I I used to sing a lot of ghazals with my friends in Hyderabad okay and uh, I I was very fond of ghazals sung by uh, Mehdi Hasan sahab Ghulam Ali and even Hariharan sahab I mean unke bahut sari ghazals hai jo hum as a riyaz seekhte the kyunki usse hamara riyaz hota tha right so I recently met uh, Hari ji in one of the parties and I was just telling him because he was he was one of my judges in the reality shows as well oh wow okay it was ek me aur ek tu on ZTV <laughs> so he remembered that and he was he was like very happy for the work I'm doing so wow very it's good. a good good feeling तो कोई एक हरी जी का गजल थोड़ा सा हो जाए yeah definitely why not why not मरीज़े इश्क का क्या है जिया जिया न जिया मरीज़े इश्क का क्या है जिया जिया न जिया है एक सांस का झगड़ा लिया लिया न लिया मरीज़े इश्क का क्या है जिया हरी जी आई मेट यू एट जीमा एंड दैट टाइम आपने कहा था कि आप भी आओगे शो पे बिग रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम मी राइट नाउ एंड फ्रॉम इरफान प्लीज कम आई नो योर फैंस वुड लव टू हियर यू सिंग सम ऑफ योर गजल्स योर सॉन्ग बट जस्ट सेट हियर एंड यू नो लिसन टू यू टॉक सो प्लीज Hari ji, we are going to get you on the show very, very soon. Hopefully, uh, end of this season, maybe we could uh, get Hari Haran to sort of close season two for us. So let's get back to the rapid fire. Okay, completely off topic from music. What's the kind of food that you really like? Food. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite cuisine? I like. Uh, I mean, I'm a foodie actually. I don't look like one. I know that, <laughs> but I'm a foodie. You're the best kind that. of foodie, then, man. If you can yeah. eat as much as you want and look like you do, yes. just sort it out. Okay. I so know what my kind of friends. Food? My friends always like. For some of my friends, envy. Uh, looking at my body, they say, "Yeah, you eat so much. We are looking at you. Why do you not look like us?" So I'm blessed in that sense. But uh, I like. I like. I like most of the stuff and but mostly I I miss Hyderabadi cuisine. Ah, okay. Hyderabadi biryani and uh, nalli nahari paya. Are wa. And the cool. non-veg stuff from Hyderabad. I miss that in Mumbai. Okay. But I make it a point whenever I go back home so I have a lot of a uh, lot of Hyderabadi home. old city uh, old city food. Of food. Very good. And, and do you cook? I don't cook. You I don't cook. cook. I can make egg and maggi. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. Typical bachelor answer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Speaking of which, you're still a bachelor, right? Yes, I am a bachelor. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Women, you till know now, that. till now. All right. Uh, an artist that you would love to collaborate with someday. You know, somebody who uh, you like to sing a duet with, or just perform on stage with anybody. Yeah. And I'm not mm. restricting it, restricting it to yeah, Bollywood. Yeah. Agar kisi ka bhi naam lena ho, to kaun? Yeah. Mm. I don't know about collaboration, but uh, I've, I've also told about this in many of my other interviews as well that I would love to sing for Vishal Bhardwaj sir one day. वो तो अलग क्वेश्चन था मैं yeah. पूछने वाला था कि विच म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर वुड लाइक टू वर्क बट आई एम Yeah. Because uh, I adore his singing a lot. I I love his voice. Yeah. I mean, uh, he has been an inspiration to me. Wow. So I like to follow his footsteps and. Uh, nah, I think he's uh, a, he's one of the coolest guys. One yeah. of the most down to earth, simple, and ridiculously talented yes. people from this industry. I, I remember uh, I had the pleasure of having him on my show, sitting where you are, and uh, 
the humility of this guy is when he says that you know what even now when i go to concerts people say that uh, people don't know who i am like they mm-hmm. i go there as an underdog and when i finish the concert he, uh, everyone like sir aapne ye bhi gana gaya aapne ye bhi gana gaya correct that's the awesomeness of this guy that he's yes. so chilled out that he's got no problems to say or admit something like yes. that On in front of his fans and his but that also shows how many incredible songs that man has sung yeah, like in the last 15 years he sung yeah. so many huge yes. hits and yes. you know all of his fans are awesome as well they love him yes. so kk uh, lots of love to you again from me from from irfan and from all of your fans all right uh, one final question you already given me an answer to which music director yeah. you would like to work with yes. which is vishal bharadwaj and like i always say uh, all of you wish for it to happen i like it when all our guests get to do the things that they want to do in their life and hopefully uh, irfan will sing a song for uh, vishal bharadwaj very very soon the right. answer the i mean the answer uh, Vishal Bharadwaj, which I have given you, it is because the other names in the wish list have, have already, already sung for been them. exactly I've sung for Rahman sir, have sung for uh, Mithun sir, have sung for Ismail Darbar sir. Very cool. And uh, I don't know if I should announce. I have also sung for Ajay Atul. Arey wow. I really had wished for. Okay. I don't know about the song which is going to come out or not. I don't know. But okay. I've sung for Ajay Atul. I've sung for Jeet Da. Okay. Himesh ji. Correct. So Sajid Wajid. Very so cool. uh, many of the names have been covered, but this one name Vishal Bharadwaj and, and M M Cream. And that was him being politically absolutely perfect, so that you know. अगले बार कवर ऑफ दिस आई नो दैट इंजीनियर इंजीनियर का दिमाग कहीं तो बराबर कहीं तो काम आएगा ना अब श्योर अगर मैं ऐसे पोजीशन में होता तो मैं भी वही करता सो वेल डन गुड सेव माय फ्रेंड यू नो एन इंजीनियर स्पीकिंग ऑफ सेव्स इज देयर एनी स्पोर्ट दैट यू रियली एंजॉय आई आई लाइक टू प्ले चेस वी लाइक वाओ ओके टू प्ले did not see that answer coming but very cool yeah i like to play i, I almost play chess like every every day oh yeah you know, i have a friend of mine who is also a singer okay so now i mean we 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 have recordings and we have shows and also whenever we meet late in the night we sit down and we play chess wow pretty cool well, that is all the time we have for today but before we head out i got to tell you like i do every time uh, please make sure you share this video with all of your friends talk about uh, his incredible journey and the journey of all my guests whom we've had so far with all of your friends because this is something that people should be knowing about these are the songs these are the guys who are singing the songs that you love very much you know these are your color tunes your ring tones your favorite songs the songs that you serenaded your girlfriend with or your boyfriend with or the songs you go to sleep at night night with uh, as in like listen to it and sleep at night with so make sure people know about the stories behind the songs and the stories behind the awesome singers who make all of these songs happen for you so share the video like it comment give us your feedback right here or you can give us your feedback on twitter and facebook as well and make sure you subscribe to this channel because i want that the moment we put up an episode you should have it in your inbox immediately and you can go out and check it out and do the other things that i talked about which is like share and uh, comment so i i hope uh, uh, people will follow him on twitter his twitter handle is at md_ fun17 i'm going to follow him right now and my twitter handle is at mihir joshi music um, any message that you want to give your fans uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this interview and i would like to uh, request all the viewers to like and subscribe uh, to mihir joshi and his channel and i had a great time a uh, singer engineer meeting another singer engineer <laughs> it was a great time a uh, great fun and thank you, uh, thank you for having fun. me here and it was uh, thank you uh, thank very you very all. much i had a great thank time you. with you too Same that here. is pretty Same much here. all the time we have for now this is mohammed irfan i'm me joshi Bye-bye. see you soon